Now that we're logged in and feeling comfortable in the user interface here in Google Docs, it's time to talk about working with actual documents. Regardless of their type, when we go to create new documents, such as word processing documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, we do it all from one location, and that's very convenient. So in this lesson, we're going to create one of each document. We're going to create a new word processing document, a new spreadsheet, and a new presentation to get a quick intro to each of those applications and how they work. Then we'll return to our Google Docs home here, where we'll see all of them and how easy it is to stay organized. So here I'm logged into my Google Docs home. And when I'm ready to create a new document, I simply come up to the New button up here in the top left corner. Notice the arrow next to it. That means clicking this button displays a drop down. And here's where I choose whether I want to go into Word Processing, Spreadsheet Application, or create a new presentation. Let's start with Document. We give it a click and we're taken directly to the Word Processing application, sometimes called Docs. And here you can see I've got a new blank document ready to start typing. I've got my flashing cursor here at the top of the page. And like most word processing applications, I've got a menu bar with File, Edit, View, all the way over to Help. I've also got a toolbar down below with some shortcuts to saving and printing. There's Undo and Redo, some formatting options as well. We're going to get into all of this in detail later on in this title when we get to the word processing chapters. Over here in the top right hand corner is where I go to share a document, save it, and well, I can save and close simultaneously. I can always return to the Docs Home by clicking this link and even sign out right from up here in the top right corner. But I'd like to create just a simple document. I'm going to type in one line of text. I want you to see what happens up here in the top left corner. Currently, this is an untitled document. And I'm editing this now. You can see the date and the time, and it's edited by me. I'm going to type in Word Processing 101. And when I hit return a couple of times, as though I were going to continue typing, if I need to leave the application temporarily, I want to save my changes. Typically, when we click a Save button or go up to the File menu and choose Save in most word processors, we see a dialog box where we get to type in the name. I want you to see what happens here when I click Save here in Google Docs. Right away, it's automatically named whatever it sees in the top line. So the name of this document is now Word Processing 101. If I want to rename it, I can click right here on the name itself to do that, or I can do it from the Google Docs home. So let's wait till then to do it. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side and click Save and Close. It'll save any other changes I make and close up the word processing application. Now this returns me to my Google Docs home. Now currently, it looks like there's no files here. There's no new document. Well, I can reload or refresh my browser. Clicking this button will refresh things. Let's see if it's there now. Sure enough, under All Items, I see one word processing document called Word Processing 101. If I want to go back to it, I just click on its name right here. You'll notice when my mouse pointer hovers over the name of the document, I see the little hand with the finger pointing. And that allows me to go into the document to continue working on it. Now over here, if I want to stay organized, I can look at the ones that I've created, the ones that are owned by me. And there's one, Word Processing 101. Now it's not located in each of these folders. It's just being referenced. So that means if I come down here, for example, to Documents, I'm going to see it there as well. Again, these are not copies. It's just different ways of viewing the contents. Down here, if I click on Spreadsheets, there are no spreadsheets and no presentations at this time. I can always go back to Owned by Me or click All Items to see every single item regardless of file type. If I want to rename this now, you'll notice up here in Google Docs Home on the toolbar, there is a Rename button. So I'll click the checkbox next to Word Processing 101 and click Rename. And then you can see it's just kind of highlighted so I can type over what's there. I don't have to take out what's there already. Just type right over it. WP 101. And I'll hit Enter or Return. And I've changed the name. Let's create another new document. This time we'll go into the Spreadsheet application by choosing New and then Spreadsheet. Here in our Spreadsheet application, again, it should look familiar to people who have used Spreadsheet applications like Excel or Quattro Pro, for example. Everything happens from the File menu right here. We've also got tabs for Edit, Sort, Formulas, and Revisions. There's a toolbar with shortcuts. There's my Save, Save and Close buttons up here. 
And when we type in information in a spreadsheet, this works a little bit differently than we saw with the word processing document. For example, if I type in spreadsheets 101 and hit return, you can see what happens down here in the bottom right hand corner. This is an unsafe spreadsheet and the name appears right here as well as up here in the top left corner. I can start auto saving by clicking this link to set up my auto save options or I can come up here and click save. Now you might be expecting the name spreadsheets 101 to become the name of this spreadsheet when I click the save button. Not so in this application here I actually get to type in the name. So I'm going to type in sheets 101 and click OK and that becomes the name of my document. You can see when it was saved, the date and the time and this is going to be owned by me since I'm the creator. So that means if I come up here to save and close, don't worry we'll be coming back to the spreadsheet application later on, a couple of chapters dedicated to it. I don't see it automatically here until the next auto refresh or I can refresh myself. I'm going to click reload here in Safari. You can click your refresh button in Internet Explorer if that's what you're using or any other browser for that matter. And now under all items I see both types of documents. There are Sheets and WP and they're listed automatically in chronological order. In other words, the newest one at the top. I want to change that order. I can click these columns. If I want to sort them by name, I can do that as well. And let's create one more new document. I'm going to go up to my new button drop down and choose presentation this time. If you've ever used PowerPoint or Corel presentations, this is very familiar. I've got a file button right up here, tabs for editing and revisions. And then I've got a toolbar with some options for creating new slides, duplicating, deleting, little shortcuts. And for the individual slides themselves, you see a toolbar as well for formatting. I'm going to click down here where it says click to add title. Right now this is an untitled presentation. So if I start typing in presentations 101, check out the name up here. This is very similar to what we saw with word processing. It's going to take the first bit of text and automatically name it what I've typed in. Unless I click here to rename this document, of course I can do it from Google Docs Home as well. So I'm going to come over here to save and close. We'll be returning to this application later on to cover it in detail. I'm going to refresh or reload and there it is called Presentations 1. That's the name and if I want to rename that, give the checkbox a click, click rename right here, highlights the current name so I can type right over it. Slideshows 101 is what I'm going to rename it to when I hit enter or return. That is the new name. I can deselect the checkbox now to see a list of three different types of documents all located in one convenient location here in my Google Docs home. Now if I want to filter out and just look at my documents, I can go down to items by type and click on documents. There's my spreadsheets. There's my presentations. I also have it for PDFs. We'll be talking about creating PDFs later on in this title as well. Now these are sections that can be collapsed or expanded by default. They're fully expanded. If I don't want to look at items by type, I click the little minus sign. Same thing for saved searches and folders. You can see how it just makes it a little bit simpler here on the left hand side. If I need more room for this pane or less, I can click and drag it. And of course clicking the plus sign will expand those sections, allowing me to see their entire contents. I'm going to go back up here to Owned by Me. These are the three that I created, therefore they're owned by me. When I start sharing, people will be able to see them on their list, but not under the Owned by Me section, rather Opened by Me. So if someone's decided to share a document with me and I've opened it, clicking Open by Me will display those along with the ones that I've created because I have opened them and worked with them. I'm going back up to All Items. And that's a quick intro into creating new documents. Of course, for each of those applications, we'll go into great detail. There's so many options for creating new documents in each of the three applications. We'll get very technical in those chapters later on.